All right, so today we're taking a look at a deck that I've had in the recording queue for quite a while. Uh, this is the Abzan Grist deck, which is a very, very... Uh, this is a deck that's really about having a solid, high-quality engine and seeing how that can serve you over the course of a longer game. So this is a deck that is using Birthing Ritual, a card that I really wanted to uh, play out of Modern Horizons 3, but never really found a deck for. Um, but I ran into uh, someone playing a similar version of this build um, on the ladder and decided that I wanted to take a look at it for myself. Um, there are some pretty cool combos in here. Namely, uh, we're running Birthing Ritual that can basically turn anything into something that is a one higher CMC. So from our Grists that we can, uh, that we can uh, sacrifice, we can put any of these cards onto the battlefield. From here, we can put any of these cards onto the battlefield. And for, these, uh, for any of these, we can put a Radadrabic onto the battlefield. So the game plan is twofold. Uh, number one is we're going to try to make use of all these uh, interesting cards here. So Orcus Bowmasters, when it comes in, makes a token. Voice of Resurgence, when it dies, makes a token. Those can be used to get back the Grist. Um, when Grist enters, if it or another thing entered uh, from the graveyard, then you can pay a green to flip it and you get a Planeswalker. That's great. You can make more zero mana creatures, get back more Grists, if that really is the thing that you want to do. Um, from there, uh, you can then uh, you know get your two drops, and we'll if we're sacking our Orcish Bowmasters or Voice of Resurgence, we typically would like to find our Renegade Rallier. Uh, this is part of the value part of the deck, and Renegade Rallier says when it enters, if a permanent you controlled left the battlefield this turn, you get to return something with CMC two or less from the graveyard to the battlefield. So this is all about using Renegade Rallier to bring back these two drops. And then kind of move back and forth between grabbing more Renegade Rallyers, bringing back the Voice of Resurgence and stuff like that, and, um, you know, continuing to uh, make these creatures. And the reason that we want to do that is because the Voice of Resurgence token is uh, equal, to, its power and toughness is equal to the number of creatures we control. And that can be pretty darn big with uh, these all coming back, the Bowmasters being around. Um, if we flip a Grist, making these uh, insect creatures can clog the board. And so, uh, you know, that's one way to uh, run our opponent over. Now, if that's not enough, and uh, we're just kind of like treading water, uh, we can also use Chthonian Nightmare to bring back our Grist. We can bring back our Bowmasters, Voice of Resurgence, Renegade Rallier, and just loop things like that. That is a beautiful way to play this game. Um, and other than that, we're also able to um, find some other interesting cards. Smeagol is here uh, for three mana. A 4-2 creature comes out for you. On the end step, if uh, a creature died in your control this turn, the ring tempts you, and when the ring tempts you, you basically mill your opponent's library till you hit a land and you put that uh, onto the battlefield under your control. So what we want to do here is uh, basically get the Radadrabic smeagol boromir combo off uh, online, where having these three creatures at once is basically a loop where you can put all your opponent's lands onto the battlefield under your control, which is likely going to end the game, but uh, doesn't necessarily do so immediately. Um, and yeah, basically you can just kind of like mill them out uh, more or less. Well, actually, sorry, it's, it's not a mill. It's just you get to look through their entire library, make a bunch of lands that come out from their library, and uh, from there you should be in a pretty good position to win. Um, but yeah, so basically those can be found off of this birthing ritual, birthing pod type deal. And, uh, yeah, that's more or less, uh, the plan that we're working forward to. Collected Company is also here because pretty much everything except for, um, Radadrabic, Birthing Ritual, Chthonian Nightmare, and Demonic Tutor are hits for it. So, um, we're still relatively likely to find two cards off Collected Company, but don't be surprised when you see only one here and there. And yeah, that's the deck. We're glued together by one Demonic Tutor and all of our good old lands here. We are running uh, a lot of fetches into Surveils here because sometimes we want to put things into the graveyard um, so that Chthonian Nightmare can bring them back. So this is Abzan Grist. Uh, it's a pretty cool deck. I really love the engine on it. And I think we're going to have some fun games today. Uh, just a quick reminder for the channel. Uh, if you are new to the channel, uh, make sure to like and comment on the video. Helps with the algorithm. And subscribe if you're new for videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. For all you returning viewers, thank you for watching. Helps me out a lot. Uh, just the viewership is really the main thing that uh, I ask you guys to be here for. So thanks for that. And without any further ado, let's hop in around one and get some games in with Abzan Grist.
All right, it is round one. I uh, unfortunately missed the record button on a very, very good game last uh, last time against Jeskai Control. Here we have Bowmasters and then a Collected Company. It's not very strong. I think we're going to pass on that. Voice of Resurgence um, was absolutely amazing uh, in the Control matchup. Uh, there was a situation where I had a Voice of Resurgence on the battlefield that um, they Lightning Helixed. And uh, that left behind, both on the trigger of Voice of Resurgence, since they cast a spell on my turn, I made a 5-5, uh, five, five, and then I made another 5-5 five, five on the way out. It was beautiful. I think we're happy to keep this hand, getting rid of the Radadrabic. We have enough things to do that I'm just generally happy. Uh, so we'll find black here off the Verdant Catacombs for the Bowmasters, and then get ready to drop down some Voice of Resurgences. It's going to be all about finding our creatures that can block these things, uh, block these Ocelot Prides. This Bowmaster is going to be a early priority for me. I want to Surveil here. Uh, we want to Surveil Green Black. Where is Underground Mortuary? And Thonian Nightmare, that's going to be good. A Johnny, that sucks. That does suck. I think Ocelot Pride we really just do need to kill though, even if the Johnny does flip. Tony Nightmare, yep. Um, so, Temple Garden, Voice of Resurgence. And this is going to be an awkward attack because the Johnny just sits back here. Hmm. Yep, okay, so it didn't matter in the end. Luckily, they don't have an extra red permanent, so it's just that they're going to make a wide board. Um, this is a fine trade. All right, now we probably just want to play this Bowmasters out. We'll surveil here, and we will pass. All right, so we have a good surprise coming in. We will wait till they activate a Johnny here. Uh, we do have to think about the fact that they do have red mana now. Uh, they're actually going to go for the zero here. That's surprising. We'll see if we can come back, combat uh, trick them here. I would really love for them to attack all in. That'd be the best for me. Wait for attacks. See what they do. They do decide to go all in here. So this is going to be good time for Bowmasters. Bang. And then we'll make a blocker for the other attacker. Um, it's awkward. I don't think I can block with the 3-3 three, three, because if they do anything to kill one of my creatures, then two die. Okay. Alright, and then we will surveil here. We're looking pretty solid here. We have Voice of Resurgence and Chthonia Nightmare next turn. If I can delete this 2 1, that'd be even better. Uh, we'll take a Surveil. The Lush Portico will be fine. And Radadravic eventually will come. Uh, another Bowmasters, I feel like, will be very strong, especially on this turn. So we will take that. And now it's going to be. Probably Chthonian Nightmare Bowmasters for my turn. Alright, so we go boom. Pay two life. Boom. Attack. They're holding something up. Might be another Bowmasters of the round. Um, and then Chthonian Nightmare could bring back a Bowmasters at instant speed. It could also bring back this Voice of Resurgence, but I'll play another Voice of Resurgence for now. All right, cool. So we can definitely kill a Johnny. I will make sure that whatever they decide to play will have to chump block. Okay, nice. That's good. So we've staved off the early cat aggression, and now we can start to apply some big pressure. Uh, if they hit a Flage, they miss. Uh, this is unfortunately going to be Galvanic Discharge, so that's a good one. Uh, this is cast on their own turn, so no Voice of Resurgence trigger. But if they decide to hold any of that stuff up, they're going to have a nasty surprise when they try to surprise me. 
Amped Raptor, fine. Another one, wow. That's unfortunate. So we lose both Bowmasters. Uh, sure, okay. We'll lose one voice token. Now, I can voice of resurgence bring, bring back voice of resurgence, which is kind of nice. I can also Ratadrabic and then potentially Chthonian plus Smeagol. I think Nightmare is the best. Uh, we will... Well, you know what? I could take Bowmasters and try to clear the field for Amped Raptor. Either way, it's two. I think we win this one by going big, though, because we have to get out of the range of Galvanic Discharge and Flage. I think we're going to take back Voice of Resurgence. Use this. And we have something big. We can actually go Chthonian Nightmare again and just start looping these. That's kind of nuts as well. Uh, one, two. Voice of Resurgence. Get rid of that. And cool. Now our tutors are five fives. Beautiful. No attacks. We have a lot of damage coming in next turn. Things are looking good. So this is the Chthonian Nightmare side of the deck, which is super super strong. These Amped Raptors though are pretty brutal. I think that was that was a Bowmasters, not a Johnny. Fine. Our Bowmasters are not the most important part of our situation right now. And if I draw land here, I go Smeagol, Chthonian, Nightmare. Otherwise, I go Chthonian, Chthonian. That Flage is unfortunate. If they take the Voice, okay, that's fine. We'll sacrifice our 1-1. One, one. That was not overly good for them. And yeah, now as long as we stay out of the Flage range, uh, we are totally good with these Voice of Resurgences. And opponent agrees. Nice. All right, that was a great round. Let's move on to the next. All right, it is round two here. We have triple bow masters. I kind of want to keep it on the meme. Let's give it a go. So we have surveil one here and we will have all of our colors by turn two. Waiting for opponent to say that it's time to go. And there it is. Here is the shadowy back street. Lush Portico, I'm happy to take lands, I think. That is just ideal here. Vexing Bobble, not a problem at all. We are not that type of deck. And I think if I just Demonic Tutor for Birthing Ritual, that could be good. Um, I'm going to hold Bowmasters, then turn three, do that. So I'm set up for a double spell in turn four if they deal with my board. Control of Cause of Doom, sure. Death Rite Shaman. That is a little bit unfortunate for us. Uh, I'll move to my turn here. I'm going to point a damage at them. And Renegade Rallier, not too bad. Um, can't really sacrifice anything here, sadly, so I will just go for the top land. We're going to move... Uh, with our original plan here. Now the Grist, that almost changes things. Like Grist is pretty decent here. I think they're gonna end up just eating with Death Rite Shaman, that's fine. Gaining life is not necessarily the most attractive thing for them. However, what we can do is, so the, the choice is Chthonian or Birthing Ritual. I think I want Birthing Ritual here because that's gonna look at the top. Whereas Chthonian Nightmare really doesn't do anything unless they decide to not take a Grist. So we take Birthing Ritual. All right, next turn we play both of these. We can very sneakily next turn go for um, attack with both creatures and then Bowmasters in, no matter which one they attack. So reanimate my Grist. Oh, crap. <laughs> That's not good. At least they can't uh, Grist uh, flip. So that's actually pretty good. Death Rite Shaman, take out my Demonic Tutor. Um, oh, I see. They uh, they sacked her to Phyrexian Tower. Uh, that was a really confusing little uh, tiny game there. I think that um, that deck is really made to just chew up the uh, uh, scam builds. So uh, sure. 
we're not really going to count that one. I'm going to go ahead and requeue and hopefully get a uh, full game. Uh, here we are. And let's go. So, round two, part two. This time we have Birthing Ritual right and early. Voice of Resurgence is probably the play that I'll do before that, but I think I'm happy keeping this hand. So we have turn two, three, four all set up here. Possible thought sees, sure. See what they want to take. All right, and we will start off with Marth Schlatz as we lose our collected company. All right, well, this is why we put all these surveil lands in our deck. We're looking for playable cards here. Smeagol is not really what we want right now. We want things that are problematic and slightly aggressive. Ooh, it's going to be Grief. Might take our Birthing Ritual here. They can actually clear our hand if they ever reanimate. Hmm. Alright, so Grief comes back. Sure. We will reveal our hand here. And we lose everything. Collected company is here. That is nice. We'll take a surveil. Uh, I'm pretty much looking for anything that I can cast now. Um, we do want to have black at some point, so underground mortuary. Surveil. Renegade Rallier. That is not something that can work for me, unfortunately. Raucous Theater, okay. They have two cards in hand. I just hope that they can't really get too aggressive right now. They keep on top, which really hurts to see. All right. That next thought sees is a pain. I mean, we keep losing our collected companies when they're uh, just barely not castable. And then we do things like pick up a Temple Garden. However, now uh, we are pretty much able to cast whatever we top deck, so that's good. Uh, we'll take Lush Portico Surveil. I probably should have picked another Black Source, actually. Uh, Bowmasters. That is a good ambush for Grief. Grief Attacks puts us to 9. Yep. And there's the Bowmasters. We'll put a Tap Temple Garden in and hold that up. Gifted Aether Born, I do not like to see. That's unfortunate. All right, the attack. Uh, we're going to attempt to catch Grief in combat. Wonder if this will work out for me. Uh, they're incentivized to wait until blocks here, and if they have a shock, I'm going to be in bad position. Looks like they probably have it. Not that, after all, is uh, almost just as bad. <laughs> Um, looking like this is going to be a bad ending for us. Grief comes back. And, uh, Chthonia Nightmare is potentially the answer that we were looking for. Um, we don't have a creature. <laughs> oh, man, that's unfortunate. Uh, so we are probably going to die here. I don't really think that we, uh, can produce three creatures to block by the next turn. So this is unfortunately going to be it. We'll take our attack here in stride and uh, go ahead and die. Unfortunate, we did come close. I guess we could rip the fourth collected company, I suppose. Lightning Bolt will finish me off. All's well, that ends well. Um, round two, not as good as round one, but we have round three to bounce back from, so we'll see you there. And my recording never stops for some reason, so now I'll see you in round three. All right, this is round three. Voice of Resurgence is nice. Triple Collected Company is either going to be really good or really bad. Let's see which one it is. 
tomb tapped. And if we never draw land again, this is going to be a really sad game. Snow covered plains. Looks like this is going to be bats, but played in timeless. Um, okay, voice of resurgence. Let's go. It's an attacker that when dies uh, will end up still being pretty useful, so we're happy to just attack in every time with it. Mono white. Is this just... Uh... Oh, interesting. What are we doing here? Uh, well, I am shocking. Playing a Boromir. We'll attack in. That actually just gives them a free life. That's awkward. We uh, are feeling extremely generous today. Hope opponent appreciates my good fortune. Or <laughs> my good will, I guess. Yeah, anyway, so let's see what's up here. Uh, three mana. Don't know what they're going to play next. We've seen Case and Outlaw Medic. When it dies, draw a card. Are we sacking things? Are we just playing a bunch of white creatures? What is up? We're actually not playing anything. Uh, okay. I will drop a Smeagol here. And actually, if I can find another land. This is Radish Rabbit, uh, And that's pretty solid. So, Voice of Resurgence here. We'll make a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, we're going to plot our Smeagol. Sure. And they will gain a life. So this is probably then just going to be uh, death and taxes, essentially. And then it's plotted casts for two. Fine. They will trade with Boromir. Okay. Not law medic dies draw a card. Okay, so this is probably just some sort of uh, death and taxes build. All right. Do they have more flash things other than Avid Interrupter? No. So it's a Johnny. That's just a classic. Yep, yep. So now our attack is a little worse because of a Johnny. They're going to attempt to kill my Boromir here. I will uh, activate at least to give my things indestructible. And let's make the Voice of Resurgence the Ring Bearer so that they're incentivized to kill it. All right, so I take it they're not attacking uh, with anything other than the, a than the Avon Interrupter. Fine, Ocelot Pride, that's awkward. They're gonna be at nine at the end of this turn. Yikes, oh wait, no, did I do my math wrong? Okay, oh yeah, yeah, Ocelot was eight on the stack, sure. All right, well, now I feel bad because Ratadravic is not on the battlefield. We'll activate the ability. I will find something off this collective company, I hope. We're going to pass. And so it's possible that I have to win the game off of uh, Ratadravic combo. We have three more Boromirs to find. Oh, the Speaker of the Heavens is about to go nuts. Well, uh, we might not have time to survive. Okay, so attack comes in. They would like to flip the Ajani. I will block if it's convenient. Let's see what I find off Collected Company. That is a Boromir and a Smeagol, so uh, I can actually combo with Radadravic uh, pretty soon. We do need to have a creature die, though. All right, well, uh, sure. Nothing's left the battlefield this turn. Yes, yeah, so I think this is the move. Um, and then I don't think we block because a Johnny plus is going to be way worse than me, uh, doing anything else. So, uh, we'll take our eight. Alrighty. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. So actually we will be able to execute this next turn, which is nice. Uh, let's see how useful this ends up being. So, uh, we can sack our Boromir. We'll create a copy of Boromir. We make our Boromir the legend. All right, get some lands, mill them, and uh, yeah, we are basically going to kill them in their upkeep. Luckily, I only need to click on just one spot on the screen, so this is nice. 
Oh, except for I have to click the activate ability. Gross. Cool, and opponent sees the combo on board here. We are going to take round three after looking like we were going to die. Pretty sweet. Uh, that will be the end of round three. Round four is coming up next. Okay, it's round four. Um, Smeagol, Smeagol, Renegade Rally, your collected company is probably not a great start to take. This is uh, something that I can play on curve, but it's a little sketchy. I think I drop the Radadrabic and then just play like this. Uh, we'll take the Surveil, the Force Surveil. And find black off of the next uh, fetch. And then I can think about Bowmastering, depending on if they play something that I'd like to kill. Scalding Tarn, not so worried. Voice of Resurgence is actually a sneaky card to play right now because I can then go Bowmasters next turn and then the voice of resurgence will be big all right overgrown tomb there you are pay two life voice of resurgence if they kill it it's all good Okay, just a brainstorm, not too scary. Misty shirt. All right. Temple Garden will be tapped. Gonna attack in. We will hold the Bowmasters for their next brainstorm, which I hope they decide to uh, pop off. Oh, they're actually leaving on top, so they wanted whatever they put. Now they'll Misty. So they wanted one out of the two cards they put back. That means their hand of eight here, or seven of their eight cards are pretty solid. And it will be Flage taking out my Voice of Resurgence. That's awkward. Sure. We do get to make our little creature here. Flage will sack. And then we get to go Bowmasters. Alright, so we have five power on the board now. That is pretty nice. Uh, Boromir now means that I will have uh, the ability to protect my board. They're holding priority here. Some pitch elemental then. Let's attack. Uh, Boromir is good protection if this is four color that plays board wipes, but likely I think it's just going to be like an Omnath or something. Omnath could come down right now. We'll see what they fetch off of the Flooded Strand. This could also be a board wave, which uh, Boromir protects us very well against. And I think that we should be able to get over the finish line here. I say that before seeing whatever they're going to play. The one ring, that is uh, a problem. All right, so we just need to survive a few more turns with our board and uh, get ready to extend with uh, Collected Company. I do like Voice of Resurgence here. This leaves behind something for me, and then Collected Company can make it bigger. Uh, this will be the One Ring, fine. You get to uh, 
deal damage to something. And what are they about to do? Maybe Solitude, sure. Uh, thank you, Boromir, for countering uh, things that have no mana sent to cast them. And, uh, cool. Don't need to bother attacking because they have protection. They go to 7, and now they are going to be in trouble. So that Solitude, probably better played on this turn. Plage, sure. And what will that target? Boromir? Okay, so they don't have another thing to... Uh, bother Boromir with. This is okay. They go to 10. I suppose I could have done something about that. We still have lethal. I think we're going to get away with it here. I don't see how Breeding Pool saves them. Alright. And that will be us taking round 4. Fifth round, final one, coming up next. Alright, it's the last round. Um, so far, as I've played both the games that you've seen and a couple of other random ones off of the uh, off of the camera, I've kind of noticed that the opening hands really don't like to give me uh, a lot of my uh, value pieces, the Chthonian Nightmare and other enchantment. Uh, however, the we do get one in this opener. Uh, we have a two drop to play alongside it, so I'll consider this a very very nice hand. Surveil one. Uh, would we like a fourth mana? I think we're fine to not take it for now. We have two more land drops in hand. Ragavan. All right. Well, Voice of Resurgence will be a great trade for that. Looks like they're also considering pitching a grief here. Um. So we shocked this. Oh, Voice of Resurgence is the play here. Um, Chthonian Nightmare can sit on the battlefield then the following turn. I sack Chthonian Nightmare, play Renegade Rally, or return Voice of Resurgence. That's a potential pattern. And then I can kind of think about if I want to do that versus just playing Collected Company here since I'll have Tap Temple Garden. Okay. And this will be Molten Collapse here, so I will get my 1-1 one, one back. I'm happy to trade that for Rag. Yep, easy trade for me. And this now means that I could Chthonian Nightmare get back Voice of Resurgence. Oh, no, I can't because I need a creature. LOL. So possibly just Boromir uh, waiting to sit around for fodder. We can also now Renegade Rallier after Boromir... Um, Sacrificing himself to get Voice of Resurgence back. That's pretty decent. Then I go Chthonian Nightmare next turn. Sack the Voice of Resurgence. All right. We found our way to the engine here. This is fine. Uh, they likely just take Collected Company. Be sad if they took the Nightmare, but it is what it is. Uh, we can kind of function without this. Okay. All right, it looks like we're getting our turn back. I now have a 3-3 three, three that can attack. That's nice. I think a 3-3 three, three would like to attack all in. Let's go. All right, Chthonian Nightmare. You can counter it if you'd like. All right. We're starting to make our energy. X equals 2. Get back Voice of Resurgence. Uh, and then we will need to sacrifice the Boromir. Now we're looking good. Theater, sure. Luna Delta, 4 mana is a scary point to see in Grixis control. Uh, is this actually Grixis? I think it's just red black here. Possibly Grief, hardcast Grief, sure. Um, if they discard the Chthonian Nightmare, that's not the end of the world either. We can start to push damage with Voice of Resurgence, I think. 
Um, this will have to surveil. We'll go Renegade Rallier. Unless, so we'll go Renegade Rallier if they block the voice. Do they value blocking the voice? They do not. Okay, so then we go Cathonia Nightmare. Um, and then, do we already have a voice in the graveyard? We do not. Um, that's a little bit awkward because then we need to bring Boromir back. Um, I can Marsh Flat Surveil and then possibly hit something better. Um, how are we on black mana? We do have two pips, so I'll take the Portico. And what will we find on top? It will be Grist. I think I'll take back a Grist. Uh, for X equals one, bring back Grist. Sacrifice the voice. All right, and then we now can pay for the Grist. Beautiful. Uh, and then we will make a black and green insect. Cool. So we can now trade for grief in multiple ways, or at least we can chump block grief. No artifacts or enchantments to speak of here, so we are just making little tokens to uh, use with Chthonia Nightmare. I will make a trade here. It is a double trade, but it is fine. Not dead after all, sure. That'll hit my Chthonian Nightmare. But at least we have Grist still around who will evade the next grief. Orcish Bowmasters, that's tough. So now Grist definitely dies next. I think it actually is not going to matter. Wow. Okay, so they have gone out on a limb to deal with her. Smeagol. This is just going to need to, tr to eat Bowmasters, basically. Grief again, taking Renegade Rallier. Alright, this is where things get scary. We start to take seven a turn. Okay, so Birthing Ritual... That will need to find something good. No attacks. Um, we found Renegade Rallier, so that's probably going to be what we take. We will sack. Uh, we will find the Renegade Rallier. This will bring back something with CMC2 or less. Um, I want it to be Chthonian Nightmare, I think, eventually. But I think for now, I don't think we can do that, unfortunately. Um, I think we need the Voice of Resurgence. We do need to be able to block one grief at a time here. And I might just need to play this Renegade uh, Rallier straight up. Uh, I hope they don't have another Not Dead After All here. That would sure suck. All right. Fine trade. Wicked roll. Sure. It'll be a Shieldred. Yikes. Overgrown Tomb. Put that in tapped. Renegade Rallier. Doesn't do much for me. Um, we could have attacked and then made that work, but it's fine. Um, Voice of Resurgence. There's a Renegade Rallier to bring back, so I will uh, have to get rid of this Renegade Rallier to bring the other Renegade Rallier back. And then we want to bring the Voice of Resurgence again. That means we can deal with another Grief. We can technically deal with a Shieldred that attacks, but it's going to be kind of gross. Orcish Bowmasters, okay. Probably goes to face. And this is a tough attack. I mean, we definitely just take the Shieldred here. Um, I would like to block like one, two, three. Um, even if they kill a creature, we should still be okay. All right, dealing with the Shieldred is actually pretty huge here. Demonic Tutor gets me a three drop at best. So close to Collected Company, unfortunate. Chthonian Nightmare is strong. That is the move. All right, let's activate that. We do need to sack a creature though. Uh, we're going to go for three, getting a Renegade Rallier. Sacrifice this guy. 
and do the whole thing over again. <laughs> voice of Resurgence again. Boom, boom. Um, we find a Voice of Resurgence here, so we will get rid of a Voice of Resurgence. Uh, we'll bring back the Voice of Resurgence. I could have actually done a Bowmasters. That could have been good, too. All right. What is that last card? The Shock. For five mana, what are you playing? Fury. Dang. <laughs> okay, they're going to have us here. Um, that is going to be the end of round one, two, three, four, five. That is the end of the games here. Hope you guys enjoyed this deck. Uh, this was a pretty fun one to record here, even though uh, we didn't quite get there in the end. It is really nice to see Birthing Ritual and Chthonian Nightmare start to do a lot of work. So I wouldn't say that this is technically a uh, timeless contending deck, but it is a fun one to play and a good uh, meta shift up, I guess you could call it. With that being said, thanks for sticking around and watching the video today. Uh, make sure to like and comment on the video to help with the algorithm and subscribe if you're new for videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll see you guys in the next video.